Chiefs Raiders. Um, Santa brought it early. Kicking off our our Christmas Monday. Um, yeah. Let's bring it right up. It's sitting right now at Chiefs minus 10 and a half playing in Kansas City on Christmas Day over under 40 and a half. Uh, the Raiders, who the hell knows what the Raiders are? The Chiefs, who really knows what the Chiefs are? Um, Chiefs receiving core, an absolute mess. Travis Kelsey blamed the media for that yesterday. That was weird. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> no, I didn't um, see that. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, the Raiders, I don't know, they either they scored zero points and then they scored 60 points. 63, yeah. What really weird stuff. Um, that made pretty much no sense. Uh, they're not a team I can really figure out at this point, but um, I'll jump in. I took the Raiders on our show when we were doing the witching the witching minute round table. I didn't really believe it when I said it. I just had picked so many favorites. I wanted to mix it up. I'm going with the Chiefs. Uh, they're at home. I don't want to say it's a get right spot because the Raiders defense is actually pretty damn good. Their passing defense is good, but the chiefs at home, their defense has been pretty fantastic this year. Um, even shutting down great teams like the Eagles and the bills holding them pretty low scoring. I just don't see the Raiders scoring a ton of points here with Aiden O'Connell. I think the chiefs score enough points. I like the chiefs 23 to 10. Yeah, fair enough. I'm all, I'm also on the chiefs. Uh, I don't like laying this many points for a team that really is not, not very important. Not not ex, not leaving a lot out there that's exciting on on tape. Uh, right. But I think the Raiders really are going to struggle offensively. The Chiefs put enough together, uh, get enough points um, that they they end up covering fairly easily. Uh, I I got Chiefs twenty seven to thirteen. Um, so you're going just barely under. Yeah. Also, yeah, just under. Yeah, I'm I'm under as well. Twenty three to ten is my score. I just I think it's going to be like a, a kind of a slow game. No, nope, twenty-seven, the... fourteen, over. I oh, you're over. going. Oh, you're changing it to. Change my mind. I want to go over. Okay, yeah, it is a very low over under total. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. Chiefs and over. So we're both of the Chiefs. We're split on the over under. Um, we'll get more into like the matchup details here as we do the player props. So uh, why don't you pull up player props and give us your first bet? All right, let's dive into it. Uh, the player props right now because of uh, the Josh Jacobs question mark. Uh, yeah. are lacking. Um, yeah. Josh Jacobs supposedly is going to play um, according to Antonio Pierce. Antonio Pierce says he's playing. He was a limited practice mm-hmm. participant yesterday, uh, which was an upgrade from what he was earlier in the week. Looks like he's on track to be playing in this game, um, but that has the Chiefs, I mean the uh, Raiders rushing lines not up right now on, on DraftKings. Yeah. Um, so a lot of these are going to be uh, Chiefs focused for me, at least. Um, I'm going to start off with Justin Watson over 18 and a half receiving yards. Uh, Justin Watson has at least one catch in pretty much every game. Um, but I think with the frustrations of uh, Kadarius Tony, others, etc., cetera, um, I think Valdez Scantling is going to be out for this game uh, was a was a rumor I heard. Um, but. He's also been completely uh, unreliable. Justin Watson's actually been pretty reliable. uh, And he has six games this year where he has over 40 receiving yards. Uh, He has four games over 50. uh, And almost every game, he has at least one catch. He had three targets last week against the Patriots. I think they're making, they're they're elevating him to be one of the receivers who's actually on the field all the time uh, because he's much more trustworthy. 18 and a half, wicked low number. Uh, He either goes over this or he doesn't pretty much. Um, But most of his targets are downfield and he's now getting three targets a game. Uh, I'm going to take him. 18 and a half, Justin Watson. Yeah, I like that. That's a, a low total um, really low and i i think i think he's he's about to be their number two receiver yeah i mean he's been there for years i think he's just a guy that that will have those big games and then occasionally just disappear but i think odds odds are way better in in your favor here to get him over 20 yards essentially which uh so i i, I definitely like the bet i'm gonna stick with the chiefs receiving core for my first player prop i like kelsey over 66 and a half receiving yards He's been, it, as Mahomes has lost faith in the receivers the last couple of weeks, and they just continuously make boneheaded plays and mistakes, um, he's leaned into the Kelsey uh, 
trust. Not that he ever lost the trust, but he's really been going back to Kelsey more. Um, he's like, well, this guy's reliable at least. I don't know what else to do. Uh, the Patriots, Bill always does a great job against the best player on the other team. So he didn't have a great game against the Patriots, but I'm not concerned about that. I think Kelsey bounces back and gets somewhere in the 75, 80 yard range, uh, which he's been doing pretty consistently for the past month other than that Pats game. So I'm going Kelsey over 66 and a half. All right. I'm moving over to the rushing um, and I'm going with the guy coming off the snide. Uh, Pat, uh, Isaiah Pacheco. Um, apparently he's all better. Um, weird, weird uh, series of events uh, with shoulder cleanups or whatever. Uh, but apparently he's all better. He's removed from the injury report entirely now. Uh, he's he's good to go. And then you look at the fact that the Raiders are terrible against the run. Uh, the Raiders are giving up 125 rushing yards a game. Um, they're giving up 4.4 yards per carry. <clears throat> the Raiders not very good against the run. Uh, then add to the fact I think the Chiefs are going to be playing with the lead in this game. Uh, I like Pacheco to have a big running game. Um, 66 and a half, kind of high, I guess. Uh, but Pacheco is very explosive. He gets a lot of big carries. Um, and I think, again, they're going to be playing with the lead. I think he gets plenty of carries uh, and gets over the 66 and a half. The Raiders giving up a lot of rushing yards. Yeah, I love that prop. I love it so much that it's, in fact, also my second player prop. Ah, uh, double endorsement. Yeah, a level, a little, like you said, a little limited action here. No defensive st uh, special team props yet. No rushing props for the Raiders yet. Um, so, you know, limited limited choices here. But I, I also really like this one. Uh, the Raiders do have a good pass defense. I think this will be kind of a slow-paced game with the Chiefs having control of it, which will lend Pacheco to getting a lot of carries. Um, they did say last week, if the game had been really big or a playoff game, Pacheco would have gone against yeah. New England. So um, I'm not too surprised at all. He's fully practicing and fully cleared for this game. Um, they want to get him back in the mix before the playoffs begin. So, yeah, I expect him to have a really nice game. Uh, Raiders, two middle linebackers are both very banged up. They say they're going to play, but they're both banged up, and uh, that doesn't help you stop the run any better. So uh, let's go with Pacheco, both of us. Already bad against the run. My third one uh, is in the touchdowns category and i'm oh just going travis kelsey anytime touchdown minus 120 why is this yours as well yeah. uh <laughs> yeah i i also do, was do it having for both the, of us do it for both of us uh i also was having the feeling of uh that the travis kelsey a bit of a touchdown slump uh yeah. bit of a touchdown slump and uh, that won't last that won't that can't last it won't last and the raiders are ripe to be picked apart by tight ends um and they're ripe to get 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 beat pretty bad and uh, we saw Mahomes be very, very frustrated by everyone on that team, on that offense, uh, outside of Travis Kelsey. Um, and then Travis Kelsey uh, complained that it's the media um, this week. I think Travis Kelsey has to put up or shut up. Uh, I think he shows up, has a big game, um, gets a touchdown, perhaps a touchdown early. Yeah, Santa. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Kelsey is – not regretting his life, but is just like has played in the NFL and been a superstar and had media attention his whole career. And now it's like suddenly 10 times the amount ever. And he's like a 35 year old guy. Yeah. I think he's, I think he's a little fed up in general with what's going on with the Swift and he chose uh, it. This is the yeah, life as my dear friend says, this is the life you've chosen. Cor correct. And I love Travis Kelsey, I, I, uh, but he's had a couple moments where he's clearly been frustrated and said a couple weird things to the media this year. Uh, so yeah, that was, I did. Now that you told me, I find that kind of odd. He blamed the media for the receivers having trouble with the football. <laughs> it's a bit interesting. It's a bit of an interesting take. Um, yeah, there's, there's actually a, a, you know, not to endorse this guy, but a, a pretty great clip of Stephen A. Smith just roasting him for, for that statement. Yeah, Stephen A. You know, occasionally, occasionally he hits the mark, but uh, not. No, well, if you who, if you throw him up a layup like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, so. Yeah. Uh, all right. right, let's go to. So you, that's also yours. So we have two of the same uh, top three player props for this game. Let's go you to do. first touchdown. Who you got for first touchdown? Uh, first touchdown. You know, I love to go Travis Kelsey in these kind of games, uh, in, in Chiefs games, and on prime time and stuff. But it's a low total. I don't. I don't. 
I'll probably throw a couple bucks at it in real life, but but I think I, I prefer Rasheed Rice at plus 700. He had the first touchdown last week. He is the only receiver who's entered the trust tree. He's actually catching the ball. He's become a nice little weapon for Mahomes. Um, I mean, beyond him, it's kind of a who knows. But, yeah, I was kind of between Rice and Pacheco here. But I'm going to go with Rice because I like the 700. It's juicier. And he's had a couple first touchdowns this season. So, uh, And I don't think the Raiders are scoring first. So I'm going Rice plus 700. I also don't think the Raiders are scoring first. I already alluded to it. I'm taking Travis Kelsey. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to take the low number. Uh, I think he gets it. I'm I'm very convinced he's going to score a touchdown in this game. Uh, might as well be the first one. I, I think it's time for him to show he's going to show a little leadership among this uh, this uh, much, group. much, much maligned group right now uh, and and get out there and score early. I think Kelsey scores a touchdown in this game. We might as well take the 450 and get the first one. Yeah, um, I'm down with that too. So we're both on the same page. It's going to be Chiefs. I, I forgot to toot my own horn, which we you know we like to we like to do, and we should because the betting is hard. Um, I did nail a first touchdown, Puka Nakua, the uh, on the last. You show. did. That I was did. nice. Yeah. Yeah, it, it had been a while. I was talk about a touchdown drought. I had I had gone m- about a month without hitting a first touchdown on this show, at least. So that was that was nice. Um, let's get over to the bonus bets here for this game. Bonus bets brought to you by Aquafina. Um, better than Dasani. Okay, bonus bets only plus money. Um, I only have one bonus bet on this game, plus money bonus bet. Uh, and I'm going into the alternate receiving yards category, going with a guy I already mentioned. I'm doing Justin Watson, over 50 receiving yards, plus 475. He's gone over 50 receiving yards four times this year. Uh, and... He got three targets. He was on the field way more last week than he's been on the field for the last month. Uh, I think Kadarius Toney has worn out his welcome. I don't think he's going to be playing anymore. Uh, There's a lot of talk of uh, Marcus Valdez-Scantling maybe being out for this game, him also being a bit phased out. Uh, What is the talk there? Is he injured or just like a bad guy? I'm not sure that I saw it on Twitter. Uh, And then... uh, Anyways, so I think I think Justin Watson is the number two wide receiver in this football game. Um, and he is already the deep ball threat. He's already getting multiple targets every game. Uh, and uh, like I said, he already has four games over 50 yards this year. He has six games over 40 yards. Uh, I'll take the the 50 plus 475. Yeah. All right. I like that. Um, you know, what's interesting, sneaky, sneaky talk. I know it's a guy you like. You know who's healthy and could just enter the fold because there's just no trust amongst these receivers? A guy you really like? Justin Ross is supposed to be back. Yeah. We like we like his game. He's big. He's strong. He uh does a little route bit of crimes, does some crimes. Does some crime, gets injured a ton, but he might be back. And uh so we'll see how that goes. Um, I think you could see him emerge as the third or fourth option eventually by the end of this year. We'll see how it goes. Right. His his freshman and sophomore years at Clemson were unbelievable. Um yeah. and then disappeared into the ether with severe injuries. Yes. Um uh, but yeah, no, that'd be pretty cool if he if he uh if he showed up for them, it would. All right, bring me over to uh, first TD score, please. Or not first what? TD, but T, but TD scores. Okay, um, <laughs> we're, we're changing it up. Yeah, All no, right. no, we're doing we anytime. Got? We're doing anytime TD score. We're going to go down a bit to Jacoby Myers, who's sitting at plus three sixty, wow. which I think is just an outrageous number for a guy who scored a ton of touchdowns this year. Um, I know it's not the best matchup spot, but I do think Adams will get a lot of attention on the outside from Snead and his and his friends. And that could lend Myers to, you know, some looks in the slot or the middle of the field as he's apt to do. So I think 360 is a really good number for Myers, who's had a, who's been a pretty good touchdown maker this year. And uh, I don't think the Raiders are going to score much, but I'm going to go with that. They're one or two touchdowns. One of them is Jacoby Myers. So. He has. He's actually had a lot of touchdowns this year. Um, basically, ever since uh, he ended his full career touchdown drought with the Patriots. If you do you remember that when he, he yeah, went, it was, it he was went three and a half years without a touchdown. Uh, and then he's touchdown fest ever since, but yeah, I, I actually really like that line. That's yeah. I true. can't believe it's three sixty. Yeah. All right. Um, so what's your, uh, what's your favorite bet on this game? Number yeah, we'll one. lock, we'll lock it in here. Lock. Yeah, exactly. EMQ bets. Boom. Make this bet. Yeah. Um, of all these bets, I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off comfortable and easy with my first lock because we got three locks on the show. We're going to do each, so 
I'm going to go Kelsey anytime. I really agree with what you said that it feels like the drought is not going to last and it's due to be over. And they always kind of step up in these kind of spots on the national stage. So. That was also going to be mine. I'll do something else. I'll do Justin <laughs> Watson over 18 and a half receiving yards. Um, but I, I, I love Kelsey to get a touchdown. Yeah. All right. So that's our Raiders and Chiefs preview. Not a lot of Raiders love, but we were, we're on the Chiefs heavily here. Um, well, there was yeah. there. I mean, we were a little uh, handcuffed also. Yeah, for sure. With some of the lines not being up, but less handcuffs on the next two games from what I've looked 